My name is Josh Amora, senior member of the technical staff. We talked already about the features of crowd filter on the Istanbul processors, the aggregated bandwidth that we get on each of these systems. We can go from 10 to 20 to 40 to 80 GB per second on the 8 socket systems. Now let's talk about PCI Gen 2 performance. The main difference between PCI Gen 1 and PCI Gen 2 is that you are reducing latencies and you are increasing bandwidth. So let's do a estimate of how much we, we gain in terms of reduction of latency and in terms of increase of bandwidth. So we're having here on this screen uh, access to remote access to PCI Gen 1 based systems. Uh, those systems are over there. And then here on this screen we have access, remote access to PCI Gen 2 based systems, the ones that actually we are going to be later on using for the big demo. So first of all, let's do a test where we are measuring latency over InfiniBand. We are using, in this case, Mellanox cards, uh, dual data rate InfiniBand. So let's look first at latency and bandwidth figures on the PCI Gen 1 with InfiniBand dual data rate. This is a benchmark that I'm running between two compute nodes measuring latency. So you can see that we're in the range of 1.3 microseconds or that's the elapsed time for sending data for initiation of the messages from one side to the other side. If we then look at what happens on a PC agent tool, on this side, we can see a reduction on the latencies. We're talking one microsecond from 1.3 microseconds to 1.0 microseconds. So this is very important for high performance computing because applications that are, you're using PCI Gen 1 with those latencies, those mean certain amount of overhead and at some point the application will not scale. When you move to PCI Gen 2, then these reductions on the latencies mean reductions on overheads of communications, which basically means better scaling, so your application can scale far. So we could scale, say, on PCI Gen 1 up to, say, 100 nodes, and here we could scale 150, 160, maybe 200 nodes. The same application. Now let's talk about the other feature of this PCI Gen 1 or, and Gen 2. We're talking about the bandwidth. So let's do a test in here on bandwidth. On PCI Gen 1, We are achieving levels of bidirectional bandwidth, like sending and receiving at the same time, aggregated of 2.6 GHz per second. If you do this on the PCI Gen 2 systems right here, let's do that. We should observe twice that. Here it comes, 5.2 GHz per second. So it's all, almost twice. Now that we have demonstrated the uh, performance features of the chipset on a regular system that would have just one chipset. Let's see what happens when we put four chipsets on a system and we try to exploit that. So in order to prove that or show that, what I have is on the FAT node right here, I have those four cards and each of those cards has two ports um, and each of those is connecting, connected to the quad data rate switch and then from there connecting to each of these compute nodes. So what I'm going to be doing, for example, is driving data through some of these ports and, and, and that data is going to go to some of these compute nodes and we're going to measure the bandwidth. This side it's on the FAT node and on this side it's on the compute nodes. So I'm going to basically initiate some band, bandwidth tests in this side and they are just waiting for, for the client side on the other side and then I'm going to go on and start. You can see here the bandwidth, each of them 2.7, 1.9, 1.9, 2 2.7 here. You can get an average per port of something like 2 to 2.5 GB per second. If it was 2.0 GB per second and 8 ports, that would be 16 GB per second. If we're talking 2.5 GB per second, we're talking 20 GB per second. So you can get those, those levels of of, of performance when, when, you, when we are talking about using all the compute nodes in here trying to drive data. Another way to see this is 
you can go with a system that has two sockets with dual data rate Infini One with PCI Gen 1 to a four socket system that has twice the number of cores with one single card, quad data rate, and achieve the same level of bandwidth per core. So PCI Gen 2 helps you to transition from two socket systems to four socket systems and sustain the same amount of bandwidth. 